Well, hello. Today I'd like to get, take us back to kind of the roots of the channel. We're going to go back to East Germany. And we're going to try out the Grant Alk Garant. Sorry. We're going to try out the Garant Alcor. So let's check it out. All right. So this is the Garant Alcor. It's one of those vintage black pens that I like. This one, as I probably said, was from East Germany. Uh, if we take a closer look at its bits and pieces, nothing there. Nothing on the clip, nothing on the trim ring. We just pretty much have plain, I'm not sure what the material is, some type of black plastic. The only branding is really subtle here. Uh, I can't make out on my preview screen what it's saying, but basically you'll see Garant and then an Alcor, which is the model, and that's it. So we have a thingy, a thingy. So let's open it up. So very classy looking. Here we have a, what appears to be a Garant nib. I don't know enough about Garant to say if they made their own nibs or not. Um, I'm fairly certain that the nib is steel. I know that the nib is medium, assuming that the feed was kept with the nib. On a vintage pen, that's a bit of a question. So, this is just a blind cap on the back. We have a, I don't know, is it a captured converter? I'm not sure. Or just a unique way of doing the piston turning knob. Anyway, it operates fairly smoothly. So I think this uh, communist era pen needs a nice capitalist ink. Seeing some bubbling, which is always a good sign. First fill, we're up past the ink window, but we'll do it again just for luck. Oh, I hear, heard some more bubbling. I'll call that good. We'll drip out a drop or two just, just because. So holding it upside down, I see a little bit of an air bubble around the ink windows, but not enough. Like even if I hold it perfectly perpendicular, I see the air bubble on one side, but not the other. So I think that's about as full as it can get. So we'll pull out my first impression notebook. Okay, we get a little bit of messy writing. Um, but one of the first things I noticed as I was writing with it is when it's f not pushed down at all, it is very extra fine. But lots of line variations. So when I do this, impressive. I totally forgot to name the ink. So we'll just do this out of order. Parker Quink, washable blue. Wetness and flow. We'll do it a little bit like this, really light, and then we'll do another one heavier. I'm not pressing down very much to do the heavy. I just want to point that out. Smear test. I think we'll do the same thing. We'll do two. We'll do a light one. And a heavier one. So capable of being very wet. But also, you know, <laughs> uh, reverse writing. Very scratchy, but definitely uh, looks like an extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. We'll do it once really light and once uh, a little heavier. Uh, missed on a couple of the horizontal strokes there. And then a little heavier. Not 
no missing there. So, for whatever that's worth. So, it's a little fatter than some of the slim black pens that I like, but I like it. What a, just, what a fun daily writer type of pen. I really, really like it. So, uh, I wrote it dry fairly quickly after I filmed the first impression. And I've already got uh, some nice purple ink in it. Um, not seeing the label on the bottle, so I don't remember what it is, but there's a purple ink in it. And uh, I'm still enjoying it. Um, just a daily writer pen. It's got a little bit of bounce. I like the segmented ink window. It's just very classy looking. And yet there's something about it that's East rather than West German. As far as the pocket test, I don't have a pocket, but boop! There it is. So, overall, I'm just very happy with it. So, I, I will just say this. If you're looking at uh, the kind of pens that I buy uh, in East Germany, Garant is a is a good brand. Uh, I've been happy with every Garant pen I've bought. They're generally very high quality, and... Uh, yeah, so I hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.